Welcome fellow painters and decorators of the interweb. It's Phil Beck with your professional painter and decorator. Um, I'm going to show you how you actually um, paint a door. You've seen Doris the door painted numerous times with a brush and if you want to see how to paint a door with a brush it's just there. But this time around, um, again no sponsorship, no money's changed hands other than I've had a few freebies sent. Can you guess I've had a few freebies? It's like being at the painting and decorating show when you come back with a bag of goodies, t-shirts and everything. Well, I've got a lovely t-shirt. I've got a baseball cap. Um, this is great because Connor over at Two Fussy Blokes over in Ireland um, seen the channel and he's given me a shout out to say, Phil, have you tried any of our stuff? And I went, no, no, I've not. Other than um, just the odd bit of a roller that you get slung in a box when it's been um, sent out with other products. That's the only time I've used it. So never actually tried it in earnest, should I say. But I'm on this job, you know, I'm over in the Algarve at the moment and it's um, a really good project for me to actually try some proper rollers that I've not tried before. So um, here we are, you've seen what I've done with the doors, you've probably seen the videos there that link to all of these um, videos that I've got in a series of why we're working away, we're working abroad. Great sunshine, I mean I'm looking out the window, it's blue skies, not a cloud in the sky and I'm inside. Thankfully we've got air conditioning. Yeah, it's called opening the window. Um, but what we're going to do, I'm using the um, You've probably seen it on a previous video, CIM paint, I won't go into that too much because there is another video talking about how good this paint is and I'm saying how good it is, I'll leave it there, brilliant, watch that video. Um, everything's been undercoated up, um, been days rubbing down, days undercoating everything up so we're now going to get the first coat of finish on. So you're going to say to me, Phil, how did you undercoat all the doors up? Oh, well, days days rubbing down I've been days undercoating I used an arrowworthy brush that I'm using now slash cut I'm going to take this off my head's hurting <sighs> like Formula One you've got to put it back on because you'd be sponsored but I'm not being sponsored so I'll take it off um, Porsche are you listening right I coated all the doors up using the um, Sin call it Sin Aqua Primer and I used a 10 mil nap can you see it? it's the semi um, semi smooth 10 mil nap that's a little bit longer it puts enough paint on and I've just literally blasted them all out cutting round the mouldings all the flats I've just gone bang 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 um, obliterated the doors with the 10 mil nap uh, my plan was I was going to lay them off but because this is supposed to be a finish that's almost spray I've left it as it is and to be fair it's not it's not covered bad as it is. So what I'm doing now, I'm going around with the first top coat and I'm still using an actual 10 mil nap because your 10, 10 mil nap puts enough paint on and what you would do for your finished coats is drop to a, I've got some of those as well. It's all I've got, you know, if I run out, I'm gonna be a bit stuffed, aren't I? Um, you drop down to a five mil nap, which is a finer finish. Now. I have been using the 10 mil nap on the first coat of finish and I must say I'm quite impressed with how the actual um, the finish looks. It's got that little bit of an orange peel that also looks like a spray finish and as it's drying it flows out quite nicely that you wouldn't notice it was um, a roller finish so I'm quite happy with that and depending on how that first coat dries I might even do the second coat using a, a, a a 10 mil nap and not the 5 mil. I'll see, I'll play around with it. But enough about talking about what I'm doing and what, where I am with it. I'm gonna show me kit. Cutting in brush, I'm just using an Arrowworth and I love my Arrowworthies. I've tried other brushes out, product testing, I've looked at them. I've, my tried and tested brush that I know works for me, and particularly on a job where I'm unlimited for supplies and material stroke, um, sundries like brushes, I brought my own brush with me that I know will actually work. I've got the slash cut, inch and a half, um, two inch, two and a half inches. I've also got some flat classics which aren't the slash cut, so I've got, I've got a few brushes but not enough if one goes wibble on me. Um, Going away, coming back. I have got the um, 
two fussy blokes hand roller very nice it's got a, a wooden handle i like wooden handles that haven't got any varnish on it's dry it's not slipping around on you too much so that's working well you could also put a roller pole on it if you're <laughs> inclined to be using a well there might be bigger doors what am i putting my painting right i've got one of the worcester worcester it's like jeeves and worcester worcester pelican this is the roller little roller bucket and paint bucket all in one it comes you can buy them and i've bought a, a pack of three the liners so you've got your brilliant brilliant idea i've got three liners on go with three different paints um got this from screw fix about 15 quids um paint well if you're listening you hadn't got any in plus you weren't 15 quid so enough these are about four pound for three liners roughly about that price so screw fix i'm giving you a shout out good price on that and that's the pelican um well, paint roller paint roller bucket um it's got a silicone handle you squeeze your hand into it like that or all the way or you can hold it like that you can get the idea you can hold it many, many ways there's also a magnetic back that you can put your brush against oh i've moved put your brush against the back and it holds in place now because my brushes are a little bit heavier and bigger probably than an amateur's sort of brush um i'm not using that magnetic um base because it's not really working for me because my brush handles are a bit long right um i've had enough of that now i'm going to um turn the camera off i'm going to set you up so you can see me painting this door and we will have a discuss of how a roller this pan two panels top and a bottom you can't see the bottom there's a molding around it and um before anybody says, I'm going to show you my way of doing this because the frames are going to be a different colour. So I've had to plan how I'm doing this job, how I'm painting this door to allow for me to come back to the frames at a later date. So um, without, without further ado, I'm going to go off camera and let's get set up and you'll see, see where I am in a minute. So cheerio bye. So here we are, bit of a funny, uh, let me see if I turn the light out. Uh... Oh, that's better. Yeah. That's better. Um, so here we go. Got enough paint in there. I'm using this AC Thane, as again, as again I've said. There's a video there. Uh, really nice paints. Actually goes off within half an hour and you can recoat in about six hours. Right, enough about that. I'm going to show you how I'm going to paint this door because I'm using a roller. Slightly different process to when you're actually using a brush. Hey ho, you've seen that video about using a brush. Hopefully this is quicker. I could probably bang a, bang a door out in about 10 minutes if that. Um, I'll do it a bit slower. So you say, oh, Philly could be a bit quicker than that. I know I can, but I've got to try and explain it to the people who've never, ever rolled a door before. Now, we've got a moulding. We've got a bit of a shape. I don't know whether we can see. I've got a sheet down. I don't want you slipping on that. There's a bit of a shape to the middle panel there, but the moulding's going all the way around. Now, the principle of doing this, I'm going to cut all my moulding in, this going round, like you do with the door. And make sure that I go on to that flat part of the centre panel enough that when I come with the roller, I'm not going to catch the actual moulding. You'll see when I do it. But also, while I'm doing that, because it's all about open time and working time with your paint now, it goes off in half an hour, but I'll have coated this up easily within half an hour. Um, I'm also going to go on to the flats, these styles, uh, top rail, middle rail and bottom rail enough that when I come again with the roll around the side I can go on to that without catching these main mouldings. Now I'm on the inside of a door so I've got hinges. I'm not taping them because my doors are opening and closing and with this Arrowworthy brush I can actually cut in very neatly with the tip of the bristles because it goes quite fine on the edge with the tip of the bristles up against the base of the hinge so I'm not going to catch any paint on it. Now what I'm also going to do is take that whole edge in just carefully all the way down so when I come with the roller I'm not going onto the frame I can just go up to what I've actually cut into you might think oh I waste time it's actually ever so quick to do it it's not going to make it's not going to make much difference to your life if you do, if you do it this way and the same with the top I'll just go across the top slightly so feather it off so it's not going to be a fatty edge drying off and again if you get any on the face just 
feather it off, you'll, you'll see me doing it. And um, then I can just roll around the sides and it's um, quite a nice quick process. So um, let's crack on. I'm gonna get some paint loaded up on my brush. Put plenty of paint on your brush that you can actually work it nicely and you're not over brushing it because that's the last thing you wanna do. So molding my pelican thing, got my roller in one hand and away we go. Back in the room. I'll keep quiet and you can just see what I'm doing. So, putting plenty on. I will stop in a minute and show you how I've done it. Now before I came to do this door, I gave it a nice little sand down with a Merca Gold Flex, a used pad, and dusted it off. So before anybody says, oh you've not sanded it down, I've already done it, I don't want to show you that. I'm putting plenty on these edges and I'm just going round on the underside just to get that bottom edge there and the same on this side just to catch it because you're not going to catch it with your roller to coat it up you want to catch it with your brush but you don't want to be catching it with your roller when you brushed it that makes sense so we're coming all the way around I've gone on to that moulding far enough so I want to come with the roller it goes on to that nicely tips of the bristles just to feather it off. I'm going down here to get the lower part. Right, and that is all the moldings done. And if you can see, I'll pick you up. If you can see, I'm actually, oh, I'm getting paint all over my tripod. If you can see, I've got the shadow. There you go. You see how far I've gone onto it. Now I've feathered off, I've feathered off those edges. So it's not gonna, Give me a fatty edge. Right, I'm gonna roll now. Load your roller up, your little mini roller, and with the end, that tip end there, I'm gonna go round those shaped, I don't know what you call it, shaped parts of that main panel. You'll see what I mean. Just to go round, just get your paint on it, because you don't wanna be going too close. See what I've done, just gone round the edges like pitch framing it. Because this main panel, with it being slightly raised up, I can use that as my guide. So I'm gonna go, you know how to roll, don't you? I'm gonna put it on any direction, put plenty on. See what I'm doing? Make sure you've got plenty on that roller. Squeeze it as you're putting it on. And the nap of this roller is just nice that I can see it. A little bit of a pimple. Now, I've been using these rollers for the last few days and I have to say, I'm probably one of the best rollers I've tried for this sort of thing. I had used, on a previous video, I don't know if you've seen it, it was the wrong, it was the wrong roller for the application of the job but I used a gnaw roller and that being a slightly different fabric of the roller it wasn't like this you just see I'm just laying it off and there we go we've done a panel as quick as that what were we minutes so that's that I'm going to stop the camera now because I'm going to drop down to the lower section because I don't want you to see that it's exactly the same and I'll be back back with you in a second all right back in the room now I've done that lower section and I've also I've done that lower section got me see there I'll explain I've done that lower section and what I've done I've cut round the bottom with the brush and just up the side and slightly on the top now I've propped the door open a jar I don't know you can see it just with my duster brush so that keeps the door actually away from the um, closed frame. Now all I'm going to do is start at the top, if you can see me, and I'm going to bring that down now with the roller. Again, loading my roller up enough that there's a, oh, a bit of oxymoron, enough that there's enough on the roller. 
and I'm going to start at the top. Don't trip over your sheet. I'm going to start at the top, turn it over so you don't catch the metal of the frame on that moulding. Now, I was say, I'm going to stop and talk to you. I've done the top section like I would do an ordinary door. Now I'm going to bring the sides down. Now I want to say don't catch your moulding with that metal end. I don't want to catch that metal against the moulding. So just be a bit careful of that. And I'm cutting in as close as I possibly can to that still a wet edge of that framed moulding. A bit more paint. I'm going as close as I possibly can. Now when you get into this you'll be a dab and you'll be ever so quick. It's quite easy to do. And these rollers, again no endorsement, you know what I'm like, I'm going to tell you as it is. If I like it, I like it. If I don't, I'll tell you. These are putting this paint on just how I want it to go on without the need without the need for me to be laying off because with the temperatures that I've got around me I don't want to be going back over with a brush uh, to lay off this well this finish doesn't need a laying off I'll come around this side cutting in really 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 tight I'm going to drop you down to the low section now as I say I've been using these rollers last number of days. I'll move you around a bit. And um, I will say, so far so good. The only, the only problem I had with one roller yesterday, it seemed to wear more on one side than the other. Now, I don't know whether that, that was because of me, the way I was applying it, it seemed to go flatter. And I really felt I was struggling with it. Now, that's probably user error. Today, I've done, well, how many doors have I done? I've done about six doors so far. That's still keeping its shape. But the cheapest chips, aren't they? What do you do? Do you sometimes wash them out? Give some, oh, it's going off. <laughs> it's going off. Do you wash them out or do you throw them away? That one that was a bit dodgy on me and wore on one side, I've actually washed out to see whether it was wearing on one side or not. And it did look like it was wearing, but um, I'll bin it. What do you do? Tell me. Right, let's finish this middle rail off. It's actually a really comfortable roller handle to hold. You know, sometimes you can get them and they're a bit not very nice. Some of them can be plastic. Right, I'm coming down to the bottom now. I'm going to show you what I do. Because I've cut in across that bottom for a reason. Now, the edge of that metal frame will be my guide against this floor tile. So I'll put that against the floor tile and go straight across the bottom. Then I know I'm getting close enough to that bottom edge that I've cut in without catching the floor. So, you see, you can hear it. Oh, it's getting it all. And then I come up, put a bit more paint on me roller and just finish off that bottom rail and finish off the style just like I would do in effect laying it off with a brush. There you go, don't put any more on. And there we have it, we've done a door. You're shouting at me aren't you, you're shouting at me. What do you mean? Door edge. Mm. I've left the door edge till last. I'll tell you why. Because I've got next to nothing on that roller now. I'm just going to pour a bit of paint on the brush. I'm opening the door out. I'm just going to touch in the very bottom. Because I can't get my roller down there. And then I'm going to go straight up and down with this with next to nothing on it. It means I'm not putting too much paint on and I'm not oozing it all over the place. And there we have it. I've done a door. 
I'd have been quite quick, wouldn't I, if I'd been talking to you. But on that note, the finish, you can just see, I don't know whether you'll see it, probably not. You'll just see you now a slight orange peel, very, very faint, and that's with the 10 mil. It'd be even smaller, finer, if we got the 5 mil on the go. But that'll be my second coat if you use the 5 mil. Bron, on there, I'm actually really impressed. Would I use those rollers again? Yes. Would I tell you to go out and try them? Of course I will. But do you know what? I know what these doors are drying like because I've done plenty already. That'll be spot on for a second coat in a couple of days time when I come round, possibly with that 5mm. Or do I stick with a 10mm? I don't know, dilemma. We've got any videos there coming up yet? Go on, click and watch. Put a few pennies in my coffers just for um, watching a video for me, please. Might get sponsorship from Porsche one day. Thanks for listening. Kept it under 20 minutes, haven't we? Hopefully. Videos. Two fussy blokes, nice. Pelican, nice. That paint, videos. There's some videos there.